Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at IBM Interconnect 2015. Brought to you by headline sponsor, IBM. Hi, Jeff Frick here. We're in Las Vegas at the IBM Interconnect 2015. It's the first Interconnect conference. They combined a bunch of other conferences into one, really with a focus on mobile and cloud and social, and a lot of exciting things going on. I'm really excited to have uh, Ori Bauer here, uh, director of XIV Worldwide Development. Welcome. Thank you very much, and thank you for hosting me here. Yeah, absolutely. So we talked to you about nine months ago at IBM Edge 2014, so I presume a whole lot has happened since then. Give us an update. Yeah, there was a lot going on, and uh, perhaps you've seen our big announcement last week of uh, the IBM Spectrum family, Spect uh, Spectrum storage family, which include the whole suite of software-defined storage solutions. And as part of that announcement, we announced what we call the IBM Spectrum Accelerate, which is a software-defined storage solution that is based on the XAV uh, software. So in yeah, good. I was going to say, well, this is big news, right? Because one of the themes we hear about over and over and over, right, is software is eating the world, software defined everything. And this is a really concrete step that IBM has taken to kind of go down that path with an existing product line, right? Correct. Um, you know, part of the announcement, we, we announced that IBM is going to invest $1 billion in, uh, over the next five years in the development of software defined storage solutions. And uh, Spectrum Accelerate, which is based on the XIV software, was one of the anchors of this announcement. And in essence, what we what we did there is we took the XIV software, which is you know well proven. We have right, it uh, right. installed at thousands of uh, customers uh, uh, for many years now. Uh, we took that same software and we are now offering it as a software-only solution. So in essence, what customer can go and do is. Uh, um, download this, uh, uh, this software and install it on their own servers right. and, and get the, all the values of the great XIV solution that we offered in an appliance model up until today as a software only solution. Okay, so to make sure I understand, so they can, they can just get the software, so you had to come up with new software licensing models and software delivery and software teams and put, run it on their own x86, is that right? That's exactly right. Okay. So, uh, so the, w what we are allowing customers is just to use either existing servers that they already have in their data center or newly bought you know, x86 servers with some dr uh, internal drives and SSDs inside and we let them run the XAV software on top, on, that, on top of that. Now what the customers get is uh, a value in the sense of agility. Okay, this can be deployed extremely fast. Within minutes, uh, you could set up a whole new uh, XAV array uh, where compared to other solutions, it may take you, you know, months to set up a new storage uh, solution. So right. here within minutes, you could set up a new, uh, a new uh, uh, storage array and it's also extremely flexible. You're no longer tied to a specific uh, um, hardware. You could just use any x86 server uh, and put the software on top of it. Now, you know, these are, you know, some of it is, is generic to software defined storage. What we are, uh, what's unique about the XAV solution is first, it's a well proven solution. So we're taking the same software that is running on the on the appliance, and by the way, we're going to continue to offer the appliance. This is you going to be. I was just going to ask yeah. you, say, can people still get the uh, yeah, they can still get the classic version, right? The code classic, as we exactly, used to say. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> they can still get the classic version, and in addition to that, uh, we are going to offer uh, the same software running in a software only model. Uh, so that's one uh, key value. I mean, you get all the nice benefits of the grid architectures of XIV, the fact that it's, you get p uh, consistent performance, it's extremely easy to use, uh, there is no tuning, it's hotspots free. All the benefits of XIV uh, you get out of the box. And in addition to that, because we offer the combination of the hardware-based appliance as well as the software uh, uh, version, you can manage both from a single hyperscale manager, as we call it, from a single uh, pane of glass, right. uh, manage both the hardware and the software solution. You can do mirroring between them, okay, and all the advanced functionality which works on the, uh, the hardware plans also works on the uh, software version. So it's, it's very uh, uh, exciting and innovative. And, uh, um, you know, we, we got a lot of uh, very positive feedback to our announcement last week. So talk a bit about, from your guys' team point of view, you were making appliances, you were making integrated devices, and now really you shifted to having a software 
really software only offering. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, how's the team feel about that? Is it exciting? Does it open up a lot of new opportunities? Is it re-energizing? How's that really affecting your development? Because that's a different, it's a different animal, right? So that's an excellent question. So first, if you go back to the origins of XIV, the whole concept of XIV was running software on top of uh, uh, just off the shelf hardware. Uh, so in a sense, we're kind of going back, go to, back our to our roots. roots yeah, right? Exactly. Uh, we're kind of going back to our roots by, by allowing uh, um, uh, the software just to run on any uh, hardware. Now as part of this development it was done in, in a very fast manner because we had all the heritage of the great software that we already have on, on our software and we were able to do a very agile development process and, and uh, get the software out relatively quickly. Okay. And, uh, uh, announce it last week. So, I was going to say, what are you going to have in store for us at the next Edge, but you don't quite have the 10-month window like you had between Edge and now. Well, I, I can promise you that we're going to have also very exciting additional news coming at Edge in a couple of months from now. Uh, but for now, we are focusing on, on the Spectrum Accelerator. All right. Well, Ori, thanks for taking some time. I know we, did, we were uh, tight. We got to squeeze you in. We look forward to hopefully seeing you at Edge, and uh, congratulations on the new product. Thank you very much, and I look forward to it. Awesome. Thank All you. right. I'm Jeff Frick here. We're on the ground in Las Vegas, California at IBM Interconnect 2015, the first IBM Interconnect fifth, uh, show with about 20,000 people spread out over four hotels. It's quite a show. Thanks for watching theCUBE. We'll be back next time.